I do hope you realise that I still have questions you've yet to answer. Yes, I understand that there are some things you are not permitted to tell me. However, just because I agreed to go along with this little plot while I was under your spell, that doesn't mean I will stand to be kept in the dark like this. What I want to know most of all is why you're keeping me here. I understand that your master has given you orders, However, I'd like to understand your master's reasoning for keeping me here. Are you privy to that information or no? You are. Then why don't you explain yourself a little bit? Really? Your master is seeking some kind of revenge against me and my household? Well, he can join the long line of people who are waiting for that. It's more than just me and my household. And what is that supposed to mean? Is it a full-on war against my entire family and everyone we know? Well, that's a relief. After all, my parents are already dead. He wouldn't get much revenge on them. It isn't my family he's interested in. Then who is it? I beg your pardon? He wants revenge against my butler? Which one? What do you think I mean? My human one or the one who is a demon who would most likely make enemies with someone? You say that it's Obviously, my demon butler. However, my human butler is as old as time, and for some reason he deflates any time he doesn't have enough hot water. It's the weirdest thing, and he never tells us anything, so how am I supposed to know if he's made enemies with anyone recently? Whatever. So he wants to get revenge against... I see that I still can't say his name, thanks to your little spell. I remember his name, but for some reason you've tied my tongue and now I can't say it. Is there a reason for this? I suppose that is fair. You don't want me calling him to help me. However, if you plan to get revenge against him, doesn't he need to be here for you to harm him? That's why I'm here. You're not going to torture me in his place, are you? Because that would be rather ridiculous. He wouldn't care all that much. As long as he still gets my soul, that is all that matters to him. Not necessarily. He would still get my soul as long as I remained alive and he still helped me accomplish my goal afterwards. I didn't necessarily order him to always keep me safe and unharmed. Which, now that I think about it, was rather poor foresight on my part. As you can see, I'm not the best planner, am I? I do have gifts for other things, thank you for pointing that out. For instance, murder, which I might commit if you don't continue answering my questions. For example... What exactly is the point of my being here if you want revenge against him? You... You want to make me enjoy being here? No offence, but I don't think that's going to happen any time soon. I highly doubt it could even happen in this lifetime, so try again. You... You want to make me comfortable enough here that I don't want to leave. All right, fine. Assuming you can do that, how exactly is that revenge against him? You... You expect me to order him to stay away from me permanently? Why would I do that? I suppose you do have a fair point. 
if I stay here and I order him to stay away from me. He can't help me get my revenge, which means that he wouldn't be able to take my soul. That would be a rather delicious revenge against him. I must admit that your master is clever in that regard. However, I do have to ask the question. Why does your master seek revenge against him? Something from his childhood? I sincerely doubt that... that he had any part in your master's childhood, least of all one that would cause him to want revenge. What? According to your master, he set fire to a village and did what? He... He killed your master's younger brother? I... I can't believe that... that he would think that. I can't believe you would believe it. I... I sincerely doubt he would ever do such a thing, unless he was under orders from someone else, in which case that is the person your master should seek revenge against, not him. No. I don't care what your master's butler says. He didn't do it. Yes, I can. I can prove it. If you would just release your hold on me and let me say his name, I could ask him to come here and I could demand that he answer me honestly. And I could ask him if that was his doing. And if it was, then fine. I will happily allow your master to have his revenge against him. But if he is innocent of that, I want to be released. And I would like it to happen today. After all, this is a house that I would rather die inside of than be happy in. This place is is like something out of a nightmare for me. I don't want to be here. So if you can get me a way out of here, if you can allow me to have a chance of getting out of here, I would be ever so grateful to you. I might even consider owing you a favour, and it never hurts to be in the good graces of a nobleman like myself. So think about your options carefully, would you? What? You... You wish to decline so suddenly? Why is that? You have a better offer? How can you have a better offer? when I am allowing you the boon of a lifetime. I am saying that I would give you anything you asked for. Absolutely anything. If you would allow me to say his name and get this straightened out. Why are you so quick to decline that? All you have to do is let me prove that your master is seeking revenge against the wrong person. Why on earth would you? Because you know who really did it? Then why don't you tell him? Why don't you tell your master who is truly behind all of this? Why don't... It's not that simple. Of course it is. How could anything be simpler? Because she... She's in his household. There's only... 
one woman I can think of who you'd been referring to. That, that maid, Hannah, right? That's whom you're referring to? You say that she's the one behind this. He hates her already. Why don't you just throw her under the bus and be done with it? Why isn't it that simple? Because... Because what? His younger brother... Ordered her to burn the village and allowed her to take his soul. I... I understand that it would be unpleasant for your master to learn of this, but he deserves to know the truth, don't you think? Just as I would like to know the truth about who is responsible for my parents' deaths. We both deserve to know the truth. Why won't you give it to him? What makes you think he would hurt you for making her tell the truth about this? You... You came with her. So you've known all this time. And you never said a word. You knew all this time. And you allowed him to believe that that the woman who claims to care about him is actually... You let him believe that she was being genuine. You let him believe that he was safe around her. You lied to him. You're nothing but a liar. Isn't that right? That's all you do, isn't it? All you do is lie. You lie to people and say that they'll be safe with you, that there's no place they'd rather be than with you, and then you drown them and you eat them. That's what a creature like you does, isn't it? And now, you're just lying to him. So that what? So that a different demon can die for a crime he didn't commit? I'm not going to play this game. I refuse to be a liar's pawn. I refuse to be anything but the king in this game. So I'm going to leave this room right now and I'm going to tell him everything you told me. And when you try to deny it, I will tell him to allow you to let me say his name. And I will make him tell the truth. And then, your master will know that you've been lying to him all these years. And what do you think he'll do to you then? What do you think he'll order his little pet spider to do to you? What do you... No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare start singing again, don't you? Don't... I... I can say his name, I can say it, I can try, I can... <sighs> you... You monster. You... You look... So lovely in this light. I... I want to stay here with you for a while longer. Is that okay with your master? Good. Good. I... I would love to hear more of your singing. Will you sing for me some more? <laughs> 